Welcome to Lesson 1 of the Ideagram Lesson Series. In these instructional and educational videos, we will present, explain, define, construct, and open your mind to the concept of creating ideograms for yourself. The process used in composing an ideogram involves the organizing of information and the technique of thinking analytically, spontaneously, and creatively. When constructing charts of a personal nature, they may require some deep reflection and analysis of oneself or life path. No matter what the chosen subject, the process of creating ideograms helps the creator to grasp and learn to think critically and with more clarity and depth. Before we move on to defining and creating our first ideogram, it is crucial to give our brain a little warm up. We are going to start out first by creating what is known as a mind map. Mind maps are a brainstorming technique where you allow yourself to think freely and jot down whatever comes to mind based on the intended subject of choice. For our purposes today, we will use the term mind chart or graphic organizer, a term commonly used in the educational field. A mind chart starts with a central idea or subject and builds outward like the branches of a tree. The most important aspect of creating a mind chart is to allow yourself to think freely and then record these thoughts in an unfiltered brainstorming exercise. Okay, let's try it for ourselves now. On a blank piece of paper, draw freehand the blank diagram shown here. And in the circle, write the subject money in it. Now go ahead and pause the video and start writing down as many words or things you associate with money. Again, don't, don't try and overthink it. Just let your thought process flow as you examine the subject of money. And then place each word or idea on one of the outgoing lines. If you need more lines, just add more. We started our mind chart by listing things associated with or that come to mind with respect to our central topic of money. Since there is no real organization yet, just a group of associated words to a subject, these could actually be written in a different visual format. Let's do that using a simple ladders graph to help us group words into categories using the ideas compiled from our new mind chart. However, unlike a mind chart, this time we start the process with categories associated with money, not just money as a broad subject. We then compile words that pertain to each category. As you will find with subjects like money, everyone's perspective and associated words and ideas will be a little different. Your personal mindset will come into play with how your tree looks in comparison to someone else's. In our next video, we will learn how to take the associated words and categories about a subject or topic and organize them into logical sequences that flow from left to right, top to bottom, in a legible format. This process we call creating an ideogram. <laughs>